The oblique spine series has always been a difficult x-ray both to take and to interpret. Let's dive a little bit deeper into the importance of the oblique C-spine. We need a basic understanding of the anatomy of a typical C-spine. Here is the vertebral body. Here are the transverse processes. Here are the pedicles. Here are the lamina. Here is the spinous process. And then we have the vertebral foramen and the two transverse foramen. Understanding the anatomy of the lateral C-spine is the most beneficial because it paves the way for our understanding of why the oblique C-spine is so important. Here we have the vertebral body. Here is the transverse process. Here we're shooting an arrow through the transverse foramen. Here's the spinous process. And most importantly to the oblique C-spine, this space here is known as the intervertebral foramen. Foramen means opening, hole, or a passage, and intervertebral means between two vertebra. So the intervertebral foramen is the specific space between two vertebra. So why is the intervertebral foramen so important? This is where nerves leave the spinal column and go to the rest of the body. Radiologists are looking for pathology in this area that would be impinging on these nerves. Let's look specifically at an RPO C-spine and what it will look like for the patient positioning, the patient's anatomy, and the final x-ray image. Notice that once a patient is in the proper RPO position, their spinous process are now facing the left side of the cassette. You can shoot an arrow through their left intervertebral foramen. Now that we visualize the patient position, let's look at the patient's internal anatomy and what it looks like when it goes into an RPO position. And here we see the intervertebral foramen. Finally, look at the x-ray image of an RPO C-spine. You can see all of the left intervertebral foramen on the C-spine. Remember that in all RPO spine positions, the spinous process will face the left side of the cassette and the left intervertebral foramen will be open.